Yo, today I'm gonna show you how I did my opium graphic. First of all, I'm gonna do a quick rundown of how I did it, and then we're just gonna make it from scratch. First of all, I took this vintage paper texture, then I added a picture, added the text and the arrows around it. Then I needed to add something at the bottom, so I added this useful text. Then we're gonna add a texture to get rid of the, to light it up the dark places. And we're gonna add the copy scan texture on top. So let's make it from scratch. First of all, I added uh, this texture. I actually started with this one. And we press Ctrl T and hold Alt and Shift. And then we add this picture. Where did I found this picture? I found it on Pinterest. You can find me as Ymeo and look up some of my pins. So we hit multiply on the picture to get rid of the white color. But you see it didn't get rid of the, all the white color. So press Ctrl M and we switch this white little arrow to get rid of the, all the white color. Then I wanted to add this vintage paper texture to give it that vintage feel. And I found it on Creative Market. It's really cheap, uh, but I want it to be the same color as the old texture. So we press Ctrl U and mess with the colors. Then I wanted to add the text and this is a monument extended font. If you don't have it, you can find it on my Discord channel, link in the description. We're gonna hold shift and squeeze the text because uh, I think when you squeeze the, this text, it looks really nice. And we're gonna press Control A and middle it. I took the color from the picture and made it a little bit more boring so it doesn't stick out. Uh, the letters are very straight and I think we should distort them. Uh, we go to filter, distort, ripple, and we're gonna try go for 50. Oh, 50 is too much, so let's try 25. 25 is enough, so let's add the arrows and we're gonna hit multiply to get rid of the white color. We're just gonna stretch some two letters. Now you wanna just put them over the letters and grab an eraser and just erase the things that you, that you don't need. You can press tab to open up a window so it's easier. Now I wanted to add something at the bottom because I had some place, didn't know what to add so I found this random text and we just squeeze it uh, to the bottom and I wanted to make it very distorted to make it seem like it's been there for a long time. So we're gonna right click, go to blending options and we're gonna hold alt to break up this, this little arrow and if you see it starts to distort the text. So now uh, I think the legs and the arms were too dark and I wanted to add this texture and not press screen because screen gonna make the whole artwork uh, too light. So we're gonna press lighten uh, because lighten only works on the dark places. It doesn't touch the light places. And if you want this texture, you can find it in my discord, link is in the description. So now we're gonna add the copy scan texture and if you want to find copy scan textures the black market has really good ones it adds like uh, the finishing touch it makes it really vintage if you want to go for the vintage feel i suggest blurring out the text and the details because if you look at the vintage posters and pictures they all like distorted and blurred in, in bad quality so I tend to go from 1 to 3 Gaussian blur. I think I'm going to go for 2. And we're also going to blur out the main picture. The text on the bottom I think is already blurred enough. 
because it was a picture and not a text but we're gonna blur out the arrows at the top and it's done it's very similar to the original so hopefully you learn something new